We did things in a different way here. We don't use headphones. We use a PA system. And so what we did for Neil is we put his voice through the system so he feels like he's on stage. Because the worst thing you can do to a musician is squash a head with a pair of cans. And what that does is they don't enunciate words as well. They get a little quieter. Everything sounds brilliant, so you get less brilliant with your delivery. But if you've got a PA, and you've got loud amps, and the sound is sweet and the house is thundering, then you will deliver like you do on stage. So I think we got a little bit of a live performance stage thing on this record. He walked in the door, I put a guitar in his hands. It was my Guild acoustic. Mark Howard and I had worked on building sound on that little acoustic. And that's the sound that you hear on Love and War and Peaceful Valley Boulevard. It's not a simple sound. It's a very, very multi-layered acoustic sound. I wanted him to understand that there, there, there are years and years of dedication to my house sonics. And I, I want to present him with something so that he understood that I was bringing something to the table. He picked up that instrument. It had everything. It was an acoustic sound. It had an electronica in it. It had bass sounds. It was a new sound. We had taken the acoustic guitar to a new level. And he knew that as soon as he played it. Sat down, first song we recorded was Love and War. And he heard it back, he says, that's amazing, never heard anything like it. We brought the acoustic guitar to another level. It's a hard thing to do to um, come up with a new sound at the back end of 50 years of rock and roll, but I think we did it. I think in the presence of the vibe that we had created here for Neil, he felt uh, compelled to write some new songs. And I kept asking him about new songs. Said, what have you got? Because you know, once we hit on the Hitchhiker, I thought, I want more of this. I said, do you have any more electric songs? And he talked about the White Falcon. White Falcon is his Gretsch guitar. It's a, it's a beauty. And he's had it um, since he was a kid. It has a very uh, interesting feature. The pickup has two outputs. The bottom three strings come out of one jack and the top three strings come out of the other, which allows you then to plug into two guitar amplifiers. That was the secret weapon right there. I was able to then go to just the bass part of the single coming out of one amp and modify the sound of that separate from the tops. That's where it started. Um, technically, anyhow, that's how it started. And it just it, we just got deeper and deeper into it, and you know, and, He's a great artist and a great writer, and he responds to what's going on around him. And I think he felt that having reached this new level of sonics and being in the presence of this kind of dedication, that he would write some new songs. <laughs> 